Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be quite different but very timely. I will be sharing some ways on how to stay productive, calm, and positive despite this coronavirus pandemic. This may all be new and frightening for all of us wherever we may be in the world, but let us use this situation to shape us into better individuals. Let us stay informed, continue to practice social distancing, and always wash our hands. Since this is the time where staying home is one of the best things that we can do to help, let us use this opportunity to discover and explore our inner selves to help us improve our way of living. We may be very limited physically for now, but we are very much equipped and in control of ourselves. So let us put importance in self-care, especially in this difficult time. Here are some things that I've been doing myself and I want to share it with you. I hope that it will help you. Now is the best time to learn something new in the comfort of your home. It will help you to stay productive and it is way cheaper than taking classes in person. You can learn a new language. There are a lot of ways to achieve this. I personally have been trying the app Duolingo and found a new one which is Memorize. Set a language you want to learn. If you're a Filipino watching this, perhaps you can start with Spanish. Since Filipino and Spanish vocabulary are very similar. But if you want to challenge yourself even more, learn a language that you've been interested in. I'm currently trying to enhance my Spanish and Chinese. I usually do this in the afternoon around 15 to 20 minutes. You can also learn and enhance your skills. There are a lot of learning platforms now with online classes for creators, entrepreneurs, and professionals. Some that I know of are Skillshare and Masterclass. These platforms cover topics like photography, design, technology, writing, business, or sports for all skill levels. Explore yourself, your God-given talents. It is a good time to try something new. I have pushed myself and started to learn how to cook and bake for the first time. You should know that I am not a kitchen person, so this is something really different for me, but in my surprise, after my time in the kitchen, I've been looking up for recipes for days now since then. Also, why not rekindle the things that you truly love and enjoy? Your hobbies. Play the instruments you used to love or been wanting to learn but didn't have the time to. You can dance, you can sing, paint, draw, write, anything that sparks you joy. Since you do not have any control of the outside environment, why not take control of your own environment, your own personal space? Now is the best time to organize your environment, clean up and declutter. Since you are to stay home, and your home will be your environment for all occasions for quite some time, so do your best to keep your surroundings clean and organized. I find fixing things therapeutic, but more than that, I personally believe how my environment affects my productivity. This is one of the things I noticed since as a content creator, I work from home. It has always been a part of my practice to keep things organized. It's easier for me to function, to find the things I need, and it is more calming when everything is in its place. Being on a couch or on the bed at this time is undeniably comfortable, but do not forget to take time to take care of your body and get physical. If you don't know yet, exercising boosts your mood as exercising boosts endorphins and it gives us euphoric feelings which we need most especially in this difficult time. Not just that, it also detoxifies our body from all the excess salt, cholesterol, and toxins that aren't doing our bodies any good, especially if you've been snacking out of boredom like me. Find the right exercise for your body. It can be a Zumba, HIIT, or yoga workout, which you can easily find on YouTube now. 
or workout games such as Just Dance and Ring Fit Adventure. I do any type of exercise every day since it helps me jumpstart my day and not fall into the trap of being lazy. It also helps me to stay fit and healthy. I personally do a quick cardio to start off my workout and speed up my heart rate, then I move on to yoga as it really helps me build my strength and tests the control of my body too. My favorites are Sar Beth Yoga and Yoga with Adrienne on YouTube. There are a lot of yoga apps too that you can check. Social distancing is a must, but let us stay connected with our loved ones. If you're blessed enough to be with your family in this situation, then please do appreciate and take advantage of the time together. Do some family activities together. You can play board games, work out, watch fun movies, or as simple as eat together. Just have a quality time. If due to the quarantine you are away from them, make time to stay connected. It will be nice to check up on each other and uplift each other, especially in this time. Since I am married now, I am with my husband and his family. We do fun things together, we pray together, and have insightful conversations. I also stay connected with my family and close friends. We have a chat group where we send each other random photos and videos. We also make time to at least video call as a group or each other once in a while. We all have to be aware of our current situation and what we need to be doing at this time. But there is a difference between wanting to be aware or just feeding our fears even more by waiting for something to happen. As we look after what is happening around us, let us not forget to look after our own mental health too. So unplug and take a break. Find the right balance of what you feed into your mind. Feed yourself positivity. Read a book. It may be inspirational, fictional, business, anything that will allow you to escape. I personally love to read the Bible every morning to start my day right and connect with God. I write my reflections on a small sticky notes or on the daily devotion part of my Bible. If you are interested on what Bible I use, the link will be on the description box. Also watch feel-good movies. Me and my husband just finished Crash Landing on You and I must say, we really got hooked in this K-drama thing. It's also healthy to reflect on your thoughts. Do nothing and just play a relaxing song. My favorites are Worship Now and Chill Hits Playlists. I do spend some quiet time just looking at the sky and praying to God, telling Him all my feelings and asking for His comfort and strength. Anything that will help you feel lighter, just do it. As we may be physically stuck wherever we are, I hope we do not forget that this too shall pass and we must look forward. Live in the moment by doing what is expected from us and do acts of kindness. However, do not forget to look at what is ahead of you. This pandemic opened our eyes to see things through and gave us the time to recalibrate our way of living. There is no better time but now to set new goals. It may be life goals, work goals, fitness goals, or travel goals. Whatever goals you want, write them down. Anything that will inspire you to keep on looking forward, to make you want to work even harder, and to live life worth living and remembering. I hope we will all be able to carry these, not just during this difficult time, but even when we are all back to our normal daily grind. Wherever you are, please stay safe, and do know that I am praying for all of you. Thank you so much guys for watching. Like this video if you did learn something, comment where you are from, and what you think of this video. Please stay safe and I hope to see you on my next vlog. Bye!